OK, so at this stage of the Torch project, we're going to model the switch. So we've we've just finished modeling the, the reflector. And we're going to look at the switch component. So go into the right plane, highlighting the template sketch, converting. And now we can, again, delete the geometry we don't want. You can see why the template sketch is so useful. Model everything up once, and then you can just copy copy parts from the template time and time again. And it allows you to uh, at least rough out your geometry. So it's the basic outline. There's a few more lines we've got to get rid of. Trim a few back. There's one we need to actually put one back in. So let's mirror this line. Mirror it about the center. Need to convert the center because it wouldn't allow us to mirror from a line that wasn't on the sketch. Let's try this again. There we go. So we needed those two. He's relatively there. A couple more bits to put back in. Hide the original template sketch. Trim a few more bits away. Okay. Anything more that we want to trim? Let's have a look. I think it's time to start extruding parts. Let's have a look at the both sides of the main body so we can see exactly the extent that we're going to extrude this around. OK, so this is our template. Let's rename it as a template sketch. Switch template. Get rid of that W. OK, right. So a derived template, which um, we're going to use to make a couple of boss extrudes. It's back on the right plane. Convert from the switch template sketch that we just drew. Boss extrude, and let's pick the middle section. So we need to offset, offset from seven. We'll offset point two from the from the wall. And of course, what we do in one direction, we're going to have to do in the other because we've modelled as is the the bare middle. So. We need to offset this face as well. Okay. And that part, the beginnings of the switch, should now be fairly central. Okay. So we need to now extrude the top and the bottom of the switch. We need to merge them with the middle part that we've just extruded. So
So let's blindly. Oh. So we need to go offset from this line and we need to go in a second direction and offset from the other surface as well 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 let's merge the result We need to merge with that central block. So there we go. And we need to add some fillets now just to clean up this switch. So you can see, in essence, with this switch, through setting template sketches, you, you kind of you set the model up in such a way when it's very difficult to, to to mess the geometry up because you've you've got you've got that template there. So we're just adding some fillets, just to kind of add in some finishing touches here. And this should just about finish off the switch. Let's just give it a name, switch. And there you go, there's our component held in place. Okay, let's have a look at the batteries next. So back to the right plane. And then let's highlight our template sketch. Go to the right plane, sketch on the plane, highlight the template sketch, convert entities. Now let's delete all the bits we don't want. And you can see the batteries, or at least half of the batteries, are sitting in the middle of the housing. Okay, so we've got two batteries, some geometry at the back here to get rid of still. Okay, that looks about right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I think we can keep this uh, derived sketch as a secondary template. So let's give it, let's rename it. So battery template. Okay. So sketch, sketch and right plane, convert entities for a template we've just put together. Let's get rid of. 
we don't need to get rid of anything so let's just select the rear contour so supplied the template sketch has supplied the axis just select the rear contour we don't really want to merge this so let's turn merge result off and there is our first battery that's sitting within the housing quite well so we need to let's just give it some color So, oh, okay, too much red. Let's just make it, assign it to the body. Now we know the, show me the front and rear of the batteries are steel, or at least, or at least metal. So let's uh, just apply this to a face. Go to the display, find the applied material, copy the appearance, select some faces, right click, and then paste appearance. There we go. So that's looking a little bit better. And let's do the same at the, to the rear. Select some faces. Right click, paste appearance. There we go. So that looks a lot more like how it should. Right, so let's, uh, let's replicate this at the front. Let's again draw on the right plane. Sketch. Go back to our battery template. Convert entities. Revolve boss. Select our axis. Select our contours. Again, remove the merge result. Okay. So here we have our front battery. Let's apply the same color scheme as before. So let's again, copy the appearance for the metal contact. Right click, copy appearance, paste appearance, not copy. Oh, I've done the wrong thing. Paste appearance, there we go. No. Okay, so this isn't going to work because I accidentally copied. So let's go back to the might have to delete the body artwork. Let's just get rid of this instance. Well, at least you can see what happens when it goes wrong. So. Let's try this again. So let's copy this appearance. Let's go to the parts we want to edit and go to paste. Okay, so it worked this time. So the first time we tried this, basically what happened was it accidentally copied instead of pasted. So copy the red. 
select the faces we want to color right click paste appearance there we go right okay so this looks more like it and there are our batteries let's just add everything to a folder and there you go two more internal components Okay, so next we're going to have a look at the bulb component. Let's go back to our template sketch. Convert entities. Now, again, let's get rid of, we're getting used to this now, getting rid of all the geometry we don't want. We've done this a lot of times. And let's zero in on the bulb. There we go. Okay, Need to add a line in at the bottom there. Just looking for any geometry that we've missed. Okay, looks like we can trim a little bit of excess away here. We only need one line. You sometimes get Residual traces of sketches that you just can't get rid of. Kind of a quirk of this program. There you go. Right, so this is just really some outline geometry for the bulb. I'm not going to go crazy waddling up a realistic component. Let's just show you how it's positioned. So the bulb is in contact with the battery. Let's just modify the geometry slightly. The bulb is, um, it looks like it's kind of just, just floating, but it's, it's, it's held. You can see it's held by the reflector. And a little later, we'll, we'll model a bulb holder. So we've, uh, we've still got some geometry to, to put in here. But for the moment, we're just clearing up some rads. And uh, that's it. That's the bulb.